Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In the last video, we had seen that how to add the app icon in our app. Now, in this video, we're gonna see that how we can implement the splash screen in our app. So, by default, if you see that if you open our app, you can see that app icon, but we are not seeing the splash screen. So, in this video, we're gonna see that how to implement the is plus screen in react native okay so to implement that i had already created one video but we're gonna do that again and here i written one very good article so you guys can also check it out okay so first of all to generate this plus screen images we're gonna use this app tools i will provide this link in the description you guys can check it out and also i will provide this medium link so first of all you have to create one image of 409 ticks like this pixels and it should be the you know uh, the important step should be in the center and one background color you have to use so i had created one you know one four zero nine six into four zero nine six one image and we're gonna export this image quickly export as png and we're gonna call this uh what splash okay and we're gonna save it quickly so i had saved this splash after this we're gonna select this file and we're gonna click on this open and we gonna need only splash screen right so for that we gonna uh, click on this android we i want just for android splash screen and after that click on show previews and you can see that icon in the splash screen we are able to see that now we gonna click on capu so it will export that it will process that and we will able to get that all okay so now once we done that click on download zip the zip file has been downloaded as you can see that now let me extract this zip file okay and after once we open this you can see that in, in the android directory we get this all the file drawable all the files perfect now the next thing is that what we have to do we have to install one package that is called react native splash screen so it's go on the browser and the search react native splash screen once you search react native splash screen click on this npm package you have to copy this command so let me copy this command quickly and let's go to the terminal and i'm going to stop my server so let me stop my terminal and yeah and let me enter this command npmi react native splash screen while doing this stuff we're going to do some more stuff setup as well so let's go to the this medium article what we have to do first we have to install this package so we are done with this after this, we have to go inside the main activity.kt and we have to import these two lines of code. So we're gonna copy this line of code and go to the Android and inside the okay, let me collapse all the file. Go to Android, go to app, go to source, main, and there you will find Java. And here we can see a one file that is called main activity.kt. Okay, so you have to open this file main activity.kt and here we are gonna is this line of code okay import android os bundle and this there's two lines of code once we added these two lines of code let's go back to the browser now in, we have to modify the on create method and we're gonna copy this line of code okay splash skin dot so and here we can see a uh, one on create method okay we are not able to see on create method here so what we're gonna do we're gonna copy the whole line of code this copy the whole method okay and before this insert get method component so before the get component method name we're gonna paste this line of code so here after this we're gonna paste this line of code here like this so after this override function get main component name we paste this function as well okay and the next thing what we have to do uh, next thing which we have to do let's go to the browser now create a splash screen uh, layout which we had created and inside the rest directory create a layout folder okay so let's go to the rest directory okay so we went to the rest directory main okay and write source okay where we have rest directory uh, let me check it out source main yeah here we have a rest directory inside this rest directory we are gonna create one directory that is called a layout okay and inside this layout directory we have to create one file the name is a launch skin.xml so let's create that file as well launch screen.xml dot xml okay now once you're done with that you have to copy this line of code copy this line of code and here 
paste this line of code okay now after this we the uh, the screen the things which we had just downloaded this is the stuff which we had downloaded what we're gonna do we're gonna control a we're gonna copy this all the things and go to the here inside the rest directory inside the rest directory we're gonna paste that so if i open this in finder revel in finder you can see that inside the rest directory we have to uh, we can see a drawable all the things so inside the rest directory we're gonna paste that so here i'm gonna paste that okay paste 14 items okay now we're gonna replace that perfect so what we had done inside the rest directory inside this rest directory we had just paste that all the things all the screens perfect now if we just restart our project by typing the npm start let's see so let's see does it really works or it's breaking something so i press the a and the app is bundling while doing this all this stuff we got some error uh, okay if it still breaks i think i make a mistake on this maniacd.kt this uh, function will come on the top so let me cut this line of code and here i'm gonna add it okay and let's try again pressing the a installing the app okay we got some error what they are telling resource linking failed values values.xml materials generated are in edit text material not found okay some material has been not found they are telling that and uh, what we had done by the way we had added this all the like you know splash screens which is really looking great okay let me see again let's go to the rest directory here we had created the layout oh where is that file which we had i th i got it i got it so the mistake which is happening if you see that so first we installed the package we added this line going done this is also done and inside that inside the rest layout directory and there we're gonna have a create launch screen.xml file but if you see here inside this directory we can't find any layout.xml file right which is causing where is that happen like that should be control p layout okay i think it's not created so let's go to the layout directory and inside this we're gonna create our file launch skin.xml and after this we're gonna copy this line of code i'm surprised like we had added this line of code and right now i'm not able to see it i'm really surprised okay now let's try again a what does happen like any idea guys uh, let's go to the git yeah oh my god so this is a file we had deleted somehow which is causing the error so let me restore this file and what else file okay okay so what was happened now i had deleted one unnecessary file rn edit text xml which was causing the error now i think it's sorted now and it will work great so i press the a again and let's see what do you think guys like this really took time but i think it's gonna work now mm, let's hope yeah awesome awesome now you can see this we got the splash screen we got the splash screen but you can see that it's not looking great right so first of all what we're gonna do you can see this is how splash screen really like you know it's a, a kind of this is a background color and inside on top of that it will took the image like it will took the cor corresponded image and it will end that so first of what are you gonna do let's go to the android app source main inside the rest directory you can see this uh, you know uh, layout directory inside the layout we have launch skin.xml and instead of having this color code we're gonna update with the black color code so let's go to the photopia and let's copy this black color code so let me copy this it is a black so it's completely zero zero so let's go here and oh let's go here and here we're gonna replace that with black one okay and now let me press a again and let's see how it's gonna look uh, now okay okay so let's see mm, the app icon and after that we got this splash screen which is really looking great awesome so we are done with this now the next thing which we're gonna do with that once the app is loaded what you have to do once the, our app is loaded so we have to use use effect like this okay and here once the app get loaded 
we have to do uh, one step that is called splash skin dot hide okay i think we had not mentioned that or oh, crazy uh here once the app get loaded so we have to import a function that is called splash screen like this dot splash is my bad we have to import splash screen dot hide and we have to call this function hide that's all so you can see that the once the app get loaded let me show you again let me close this and let me open the app now if you open this app you can see the splash screen open our app has been loaded and then after that the app get the splash screen get hide all right so yeah this is how we can implement a splash screen i know it's a bit time taking for now uh, it's, it was supposed to do quick but yeah so in the next video uh, this is all we can add the uh, let me summarize this all this stuff quickly once more first of all you have to generate one image of five this size you have to up, up, upload apply, upload the image and after that you have to uh, you know click on this and once you're done with that click download that and inside this android directory inside this android directory we have app source and inside the main we have this directory you have to just replace that all the file and make sure it doesn't remove that file which has been removed after that you have to create a layout directory inside this layout we have to create a fun file called launchskin.xml and here you have to just add this line of code all right and once you're done with this uh, also there's one more thing you have to go inside the java mainactive.kt you have to import these two lines of code and also you have to add this uh, function uh, which is the function is that this one on create function okay and the next thing is that once you're done with all this all this stuff go to the app.tsx once the app get loaded you have to make hide this splash screen that's all so yeah that's all in this video guys also please uh, visit zero degree coder dot n if you are just started with the react native would suggest to the watch this course as well like subscribe this course watch this course and if you're facing any issues just let me know on the contact us you can reach out to our email or the phone number so yeah that's all in this video guys thank you bye